Preview, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV with Clutter Butter. So far, I am absolutely loving this game, and let's go ahead and turn this main scenario quest on our road to level 70. That's our goal in these videos, is to hit that soft cap. Go ahead and pick a reward here. It's going to give us a level probably. There she goes. Level up. The graphics in this game are absolutely astounding for an MMO. I absolutely love the scenery. As you can see, we're still in the Ramen Warriors Free Company. Shout out to you guys, love you all. And we're still rocking that little newbie leaf up next to our name there. Got some nice red pants to match that red top. Not that it matters though, because we're fixing to do some mentoring quests here soon to get all the newbie gear. All that level 15 brand new named gear get that out of the way because so that's going to give us that brand new ring which is going to give us that experience bonus that we desperately need i believe that experience bonus is also going to stack with our little feather we got from our recruiter friend reward and shout out to whoever on reddit took my recruiter friend code pm me your name in game and i will gladly add you friend because i'm still just a mere novice and i have not figured out how to find your name yet off we go on our adventure through eorzea so part of our main scenario questing is the Black Mage is messing with us yet again and we have to defeat this lesser gargoyle dude. That's another thing I love about Final Fantasy XIV is they can take a weak boss and just make him look so badass. Let's cleave this puppy down with our two-hander axe because we are a marauder and we are fearless and afraid of nothing. Yo DJ Butter drop the beat. I feel like the masked mage was actually easier to beat than the gargoyle was. Old girl be looking savage AF. So damn Daniel, we're back at it again with the questing. Another quest in the books. On our way to that sweet level 70. Because we got that Hall of the Novice membership granted. Very simple basic mechanics. It's gotta dodge these AoEs. Watch out for the chain. The little mage decided to hold me in place while I got AoE down. Dodge ya! Getting that sweet newbie gear. Now we're learning some basic combo skills. Very simple mechanics, but very necessary mechanics when it comes to uh, doing those dungeons and whatnot. Get those guild hests. Get those leveling roulettes. Gotta learn this to be an efficient tank, I suppose. But mainly just doing it for that sweet brand new ring with that sweet bonus experience. And do you complete what piece of gear will I get next? So bummer, I've actually been slacking on my class quests, so I didn't do the one that I need to complete the one for the chest piece and then the ring. So let's go dive into that job quest and get that sweet skill I'm lacking, so we can get that sweet experience ring. And again man, getting sidetracked in this game is just like my weak point. Saw that story quest turn in and I just had to partake in that real quick. Love the chocobo music in this game. And these chocobo porters are the same as, say, flight pass in WoW. The only difference is the ones that like run themselves like an auto run basically and then the ones that you actually control with velocity or uh, numlock just auto run and steering around killing some monkeys I'm like super over leveled for this uh, job quest right here this is what happens when you have a uh, little feather experience boost thing you just out level all the uh, the little tasks in between uh, the main story quest slicing through these guys like butter because that's my name we turned in that portion of the class quest and now we're doing this portion here. Gotta kill some weird zebra lizards. But dude, I'm super out leveling these uh, quests. Because those zebra doodads were only like level 11. Now we go teleport to turn it back in. Go ahead and turn this quest right here into Sulkweeb. One of our main quest turn in NPCs here. Now we're gonna map out our route of travel to the next quest destination. And I'll spare you guys the deets of me trying to figure out where to go here. So we're completing the uh, main scenario quest right here that uh, has you using the airship and whatnot to travel to other continents. But despite how majestic this cutscene is going to be, we're going to skip it. 
just like all the others. Uh, I've grinded out that main scenario and picked up my uh, class quest for that skill I needed. We're back here doing the uh, newbie ring quest at the uh, Hall of Novice. Basically my goal here is to defeat an entire party of players with a pocket healer and basically keep aggro away from the healer. You know, basic MMO stuff that everybody that's played an MMO before should know, especially if you've ever tanked in another MMO. Basic stuff. Now we just gotta take down this quick-fisted training partner and we'll be on our way to that sweet prize. Actually, I think this one's for the chest piece and then the next one will be for the ring though. Yep, I was right. The uh, quest reward was the chest piece. Here's the mission right here. It's actually called Final Exercise, so you know it's the last one. Ah, the Final Exercise is actually like teaching you uh, dungeon mechanics like keeping aggro and target priority and all that good stuff. This dodo is actually pretty tanky. Then again, we are level sync to our quest right now. I guess it's kind of less like a dungeon, more like a guild hest. Just because guild hests are so short and this isn't really like the length of a dungeon or anything. But that brand new armor, that newbie armor, actually looks pretty good. I like the sleek black look. And I'm actually starting to look like a tank because the armor makes me look like I'm actually wearing like steel, you know? I'm not wearing peasant's rags anymore. The big boss at the end of that like guild hest type thing was a gabu. We got a ring and now it's time to equip it. Boom, here we go. Let's change our hat back to the feather until we're level 25. We're finally in the portion of the main scenario that I remember we're actually doing our first dungeon which is Satasha. Pretty simple standard dungeon as per usual. Dodge the uh, patterns on the ground, stay out of AoEs and whatnot. And just making sure I pull aggro off of my party members. Not a big deal whatsoever, I remember doing this on my uh, paladin actually. Well, gladiator, I guess, since I wasn't a paladin at the time. But I just love the feel, even like of the very first dungeon you ever do, which is this one right here. It's just like all the dungeons in Final Fantasy XIV are like well themed and put together. There's usually little ads that come out of the floor. I guess my party members have just been on top of them and like shutting the little trap doors or whatever. Cause none of them have popped out and they're melting the boss like super quick. Since I've been running this just for my daily leveling XP's, this is just one of the quicker parties I've seen clear it. So shout out to you guys, thanks for running fast so I can get that fast experience. So after I ran that dungeon I got like 3 player accommodations, which is pretty cool, thanks guys. Welcome to Tamtara Deepcroft, we're doing another main scenario quest in this dungeon here. And I am just on the peak of that level up. Pretty sure I'm going to level up this fight. And there she is, right there. I love that level up music. All these Final Fantasy XIV dungeons are like really straightforward. Like it seems like there's one straight path you can take and if you veer off there's a chance of getting like extra treasure and whatnot. But the path to take to get to the end boss is like always super self-explanatory, you know? I kind of like it though, it keeps life very simple and uh, especially easy for like newbie tanks like me when I don't know where I'm going, you know what I mean? Now we hit him with the death blow. And I leveled up as he's dying. So that makes two levels from this dungeon. Trying to pick up all the class quests I can in between. I'm trying to trying to avoid playing catch up when I make it level 30 for that job crystal. So there's also a yokai watch event going on right now. And the starting quest is called a complete game changer you get from the poor healed youth in Ulda. There it is right there, yokai watch quest accepted. It'd be pretty sweet if I could unlock some kind of whisper minion or something from this quest. But first things first, we need to make our way to the Gold Saucer to uh, complete this portion. So I've completed that portion of the quest, we're in the Gold Saucer now. And since it's my first time on this character in the Gold Saucer, I'm just going around talking to everybody, figuring out what games I can play and all that jazz. I gotta tell you, there's some fun things to do in the Gold Saucer. Like one of my favorite games, Triple Triad. Now I've been on a mission to collect information from NPCs in Bent Branch Meadows. I think this is going to do for part 3 of my Let's Play series for you guys. Shout out to Lost Raiders Entertainment on Facebook. They're doing a giveaway of 50 followers. Link will be in the description down below. Like their page, follow them, all that jazz. This is Butter signing out. Peace.